Should we investigate the most common forms of uveitis? In terms of location in the eye, the most common form of uveitis is anterior uveitis or iritis. And a good number of patients have a gene variant called HLA-B27. HLA-B27 associated anterior uveitis does give with it a couple of clues which help in diagnosis. It's usually recurrent, happens again and again. It usually happens in one eye at a time, but it can switch from one eye to the other. And there's other features such as posterior synechii, fibrin, and sometimes hyperpion or hyperpion, depending on how you pronounce it. Actually doing the test for HLA-B27 is a bit of a grey area, but it is important to ask for other conditions which can be linked to this, in particular ankylosing spondylitis, axial spondyloarthropathy. So this is often lower back pain or stiffness which is worse in the morning or sometimes late at night, sometimes gets better with exercise, but does not improve or gets worse with rest, and especially pain around the buttocks. There are other conditions as well linked, such as psoriasis or inflammatory bowel disease. And this is the website for the National Axial Spondyloarthropathy Society, which can help with support for patients, but it's important for ophthalmologists and eye clinicians to ask for these symptoms.